Yo, what is up? It's your boy. It's, uh, it's Travis, and we're gonna play more Amnesia. I have been on a Doom Eternal spree lately, and I think it's time to get back to serious business. Uh, oh boy. And this time, we're not doing the whole TMG or Tiny Meat podcast. No, this time, this time it's going to be terrifying. This time, it's going to be... Serious. There's going to be little room for fooling around here. If any room for fooling around. This is a very large room. It is unsettlingly large. But there's got to be something more to it. I imagine there's probably a box around here somewhere with some goodies in it. I could be wrong. I might be wrong. And it's looking like I'm wrong all the way. Wowzers. I just wasted plenty of lantern oil walking around this one room. What was I trying to prove? I, I, I just wanted to find some more oil and Guess that's not happening now, is it? Okay, well, it's a good thing I collected these, the bone saw and the dagger or whatever right off the bat. That way I wouldn't have to, uh go back, I guess, because I could have easily missed those. I'm kind of glad that I figured there was something in here, but I couldn't tell what. Oh, no. Please don't make a jumping puzzle. This is awful for amnesia. This is bad. You fucking dick. What am I supposed to do now? What do I do with this? What do I do? What the fuck? do you want me to do with this? Come on. Alright, let's go back up here again. Try this. Jumping puzzles and amnesia? Awful. Terrible idea. Oh, you did almost f that one up. Or, oh. Excuse me? Finally, you have arrived. Hold on. Gordon told me I'll need a bone... <laughs> he didn't even say it to me yet. Gordon told me I'll need a bone saw and a ceremonial knife to finish the ritual and free us both. I helped you to get here. And now, I was hoping you could help me. Oh, I'll help you. I'll help you. God of Discord holds my soul here until the sacrifice is complete. You will need the sacrificial tools to finish the ritual. The ritual knife to remove my heart. And the bone saw to remove my head. Once you remove my head, then place my heart on the altar. This won't please the begetter more, but it will banish his creatures. What? You already have more tools? Wonderful news. Hurry, hurry. Finish the ritual. Don't worry about my pain. I've suffered enough. Please. Oh, don't worry. I will. What should I start with first? The most painful one, sawing your head off, or should I use it to take out the heart? Oh, I could be a sick bastard here, but I... I mean, you stab it into the heart. Or no, you have to remove the heart, so you couldn't... Well, I don't know. I'm just gonna cut his head off. How about that? Can I... Can I... Can I do that? Have to do it first. Okay. Gotcha. Didn't want there to be any uh, confusion there. I had to do it possibly the more painful way first, of course. Okay. Well, now what? I've got it. I got his heart. That's his heart. Well, what about his head? I'll need to place Gordon's heart on the altar to finish the ritual and banish these demons. Some help? I doubt that, my very confused friend. <laughs> okay. Didn't want there to be any confusion. I have a very bad feeling about this. I have the feeling that when I get down here, something's gonna happen. Something not so good. Something maybe for the worst. 
I still have plenty of sanity potions and health potions. Uh, I'm just saying. Yeah, 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 Woo! Oh, fuck. Come on, you can make it. Get the. F oh, he's right behind me. He's about to slash me. I hear him. Gene ran for miles. Ran into his legs, nearly gave out. Once he thought he was far enough, he stopped and looked back at the temple. He heard no more screams of terror in his ears, but in his mind, he thought he heard Gordon's voice. Thank you. Is that, is that the end? Is that Lakaza? That's the end of Lakaza. That came so abruptly. There wasn't any. It was. Oh man, I gotta say that's disappointing. But you know, I was really enjoying it. It was like a. It happened so fast. It happened too fast, man. Like that was really awesome. That definitely deserved an award. But I think it suffered from the same kind of, like, disappointing end or finale that, uh, Abduction did. Uh, like, I'm gonna get down to a personal level here with you. I think it suffered from such an absolutely abrupt ending that it was, you know... Like, there was no- there was a sense of progression, but unlike the base game of Amnesia, which was built and developed by professional story writers and level designers and so on and so forth in their own engine, it was uh, strange in that, in that neither of these custom stories so far, they they didn't really feel like there was a sense of progression like toward a climax in a story. Like uh, in the original Amnesia, you start on you know nothing. You're at the most you can, you're at the bottom. Okay, uh, I'm sure for anybody who's already played it, it it's you kind of get what I'm saying. But you start off at the bottom. You don't know anything. You collect notes. You learn more about the story along the way. You go up and up and up and you hear about these locations that are toward the end of the game that you, you know, uh, eventually arrive at. But by the time you're there, the tension's high. You're like, oh shit, I'm about to meet Alexander again. I'm about to, I'm about to do finish this whole deal, you know. It gets up to that very climax and then it brings itself back down at the end. But here, it's just like a... It's just like there's no sense of uh, climb in the story. There's no sense of progression as far as like uh, creative writing goes. It's it's good. It's good stuff. It's not bad by any means. It was scary, which is the most important part in a horror game. But it lacked in story and it ended very abruptly. Like I didn't know when the end was coming. It just did. It just ended out of nowhere. Uh, that's... I, honestly, that's gotta be my only complaint with it. And I feel like that's a major complaint, in a way. Like, two complaints. The story wasn't that immersing. I wasn't really drawn into it. And again, it just ended abruptly. That's, that's all I can really say about it. Otherwise, the level design was awesome. I, I really appreciated the concept. It was scary. I actually screamed, I think, twice. Uh, so that's good enough for me. You know, this is a short series. Uh, Abduction was a little bit, a little bit longer, but eh, you know, it had its, it had its own wonderful storytelling, and I could never tell what was coming next. That's the thing that plagues, uh, and uh, th th that plagues custom stories for me is uh, more of a personal thing. Is like I, I, I tend to be able to predict things as they happen. Sometimes, like this one, it, it just was completely out of the out of the blue for me. I wasn't able to tell when things were going to happen. Uh, and sometimes I still was, but not all the time. But, you know, it is what it is. It's a good custom story. I would put this one above Abduction, although I would also say Abduction made me feel a little bit more tense. There were a lot more tense moments in Abduction because I knew what was coming, so I had to prepare myself but even preparing myself for something scary to happen is scary to me in a game like Amnesia, which is my favorite horror game of all time. Like, hands down, my favorite horror game of all time. Uh, so anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to stop my ranting and rambling there. It's a good custom story. Give it a try for yourself. As always, this game is way different 
when you play it for yourself as opposed to watching someone else play it. So uh, I've got hundreds of videos on the channel. Please check them out. Anyway, I'm going to stop messing around. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate you. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment down below to tell me what you think. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date. Share the videos to spread the good word. And I will see you in the next one. Take care, friends. Oh, yeah. My, uh, my whole uh, swollen mouth thing is gone. So we're getting back to a uh, regular pace here. <laughs>